won the TV Professional Freestyle Championship. We're trying to find the super world champion. We have on the floor at the moment, Andrew Reardon from Wales. Andrew is a strong performer. He's a strong competitor here. He's definitely one of the super riders of the world. This is going to be really interesting, Andy, to see who actually comes out on top. And he's got a very slow start to the routine. He does. That might be his undoing, unless he comes up with some fantastic ending. I'm sure he's being cautious. He doesn't want to make a mistake. There's no room for error here in this particular segment of a competition because it's the beginning, and once he gets some kind of an error, it may shake him for the remainder of his, his uh, routine. I mean, with these routines, they have actually got an increased amount of time. They've actually got three minutes. More time to make mistakes. You know, that's uh, that's another factor here. There's More time to get tired out as well. That's right, that's right. Before. It increases fatigue time. If anyone thinks this, uh, this sport is uh, specifically just for young children, it's not. There are fantastic young men and some young ladies that are getting into this sport. Great talent, skilled athletes. I'd liken them uh, mostly to um, gymnasts, gymnasts on a bicycle. Some of the aerials that are developing at the moment, um, I mean, they really would, you know, they, they'd pass for gymnasts. I mean, some of the aerials. Oh, definitely, be... definitely. I'd say it's gone beyond the uh, concept of dancing on a bicycle, break dancing on a bicycle. Dancing is not quite this strenuous. At least the dancing that I do, Andy. <laughs> okay, the, now remember this is three minutes. Now the gear marks on the ground and on the ramps. So it's gonna be some very interesting routines that we're gonna be seeing. These are professional riders. We're gonna try and find the super professional champion. Now he is uh, picking up the pace just a bit, building up a little bit of steam, going for it. Going for air, one hand, one foot. I'm not sure that air is going to cut it. I know some of the other competitors are very, very high in their aerials. Not that that's the entire determinant. 30 seconds to go. So far, the errors are at a minimum. Miami Hopper, right here. They're getting very finely tuned with the use of their brakes. I've noticed that a lot of the tricks they're doing, they're going on and off with the brake, oh, very really definitely. controlling their very whole definitely. movement on the brake. Small item, uh, you know, nickel-dime item, uh, like a brake pad, could mean an entire routine. The okay, that's time out for Andrew Reardon. <laughs>